Exploring the origins of life on Earth. Millions of years ago, Earth was a harsh and unforgiving place, yet life managed to emerge against all odds. Let's delve into the fascinating journey of how life began on our planet. Earth, a fiery orb, formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago. Initially, its surface was a hostile environment, subjected to intense heat and incessant bombardment by comets and asteroids. Despite these adversities, life somehow took root, leaving behind traces of its existence in the form of fossilized microbial mats a billion years after Earth's formation. But what catalyzed this transformation? How did life arise from inert matter over the span of half a billion years? The Spark of Life Jim Cleves, chair of Howard University's chemistry department and co-author of A Brief History of Creation, Science and the Search for the Origin of Life, highlights the vastly different atmospheric conditions prevailing when life first appeared. Nobel laureate Harold Urey in the 1950s hypothesized that Earth's early atmosphere resembled those found in the solar system, rich in nitrogen and methane. Yuri suggested that the presence of life catalyzed the transformation of this atmosphere, enriching it with oxygen. This primordial atmosphere, Yuri proposed, was highly conducive to the formation of organic compounds, the building blocks of life. Yuri's bold theory prompted his research student Stanley Miller to devise an ingenious experiment, the Miller-Yuri experiment. This groundbreaking endeavor simulated Earth's early conditions within a closed system. Water, hydrogen, methane, and ammonia were heated and subjected to electric discharges, mimicking the effect of lightning. The resulting chemical reactions led to the formation of organic molecules, akin to the processes theorized by Urey. The Miller-Urey experiment symbolizes a pivotal moment in unraveling the mysteries of life's origins, providing compelling insights into how the spark of life may have ignited on our ancient planet. The results were astonishing. In a mere week, the simulated ocean within the experiment underwent a remarkable transformation. Its once clear waters turned a reddish-brown hue, a visual testament to the synthesis of amino acids, the very building blocks of life. Further investigations revealed nuances in Earth's early atmospheric composition compared to Miller's experiment. While nitrogen and carbon dioxide were predominant, hydrogen and methane played a lesser role. Yet, the fundamental concepts proposed by Miller endure. Lightning, asteroid impacts and solar radiation catalyzed chemical reactions, yielding crucial compounds like hydrogen cyanide. Interacting with iron from Earth's crust, these compounds potentially gave rise to precursor molecules, including sugars. Among them, ribonucleic acid, RNA, emerged as a pivotal player a molecule capable of storing genetic information. At some juncture, RNA molecules began self-replication, paving the way for life's emergence. But how did these rudimentary RNA molecules evolve into intricate cellular structures ensconced within protective membranes? The answer might lie in tiny droplets laden with proteins and nucleic acids. These entities exhibited a remarkable propensity to bind components akin to cellular processes, albeit without membrane enclosures. Several researchers proposed that these cosivates served as protocells, concentrating early RNA and organic compounds, thereby fostering conditions conducive to further evolutionary steps. These intriguing entities offer tantalizing insights into the transition from simple molecular assemblies to complex cellular life. Arriving from the cosmos, another intriguing theory suggests that amino acids, along with other essential components like carbon and water, may have journeyed to early Earth from the depths of outer space. Comets and meteorites, cosmic wanderers laden with organic compounds, could have delivered these crucial ingredients during Earth's formative years, augmenting its primordial soup. Studies have revealed that comets and meteorites harbor a repertoire of organic building blocks akin to those essential for life's emergence. The relentless bombardment of early Earth by these celestial bodies likely augmented the availability of amino acids and other vital compounds. Jack Shostak, a Nobel laureate in chemistry and leading figure in the University of Chicago's Origins of Life initiative, underscores the pivotal role of asteroid and comet impacts. He emphasizes that Earth's early atmosphere 
rich in nitrogen and carbon dioxide, posed challenges for certain chemical reactions proposed in Miller's experiments. However, Jostak elucidates that moderate-sized impacts could transiently generate atmospheric hydrogen and methane, creating favorable conditions for compound synthesis. In Shostak's words, it's akin to having your cake and eating it, implying a fortuitous combination of circumstances conducive to life's chemical genesis. Concealed within Earth's depths, an alternate notion speculates that life might have originated in the profound depths of the ocean, particularly around hydrothermal vents nestled on the seabed. However, Jack Shostak dismisses this proposition, citing the intricate chemistry involved in the synthesis of crucial biomolecules like nucleotides and RNA. He elucidates that multiple steps in this process necessitate the catalytic influence of UV radiation from the sun. Thus, the deep ocean, shielded from solar radiation, is deemed an unlikely cradle for life's inception. Nonetheless, the consensus remains steadfast that life's nascent stages unfolded in aquatic realms. As Jim Cleaves highlights, liquid serves as an indispensable medium for chemical reactions to transpire, and water, with its inherent stability, emerges as the prime candidate. Considering the prevalence of water across planetary surfaces, it becomes evident that aquatic environments provided the requisite conditions for life's emergence. Shostak contends that shallow ponds or hydrothermal springs, teeming with energy-rich environments akin to those near impact sites or volcanic regions, offer more plausible settings for life's genesis. The tumult of volcanic activity, culminating in localized lightning storms, might have catalyzed the chemical reactions essential for life's inception. Moreover, Shostak proposes a compelling notion. The possibility of life originating through multiple disparate pathways initiated perhaps by distinct microbial predecessors. While all life on Earth shares a common ancestor, remnants of which have long vanished, the prospect of multiple genesis events punctuated by cosmic cataclysms or evolutionary stagnation remains plausible. In Cleves's words, life's origin may have been akin to a cosmic gamble, contingent upon a series of fortuitous circumstances. In the enigmatic tapestry of life's origins, Myriad pathways converge and diverge, echoing the whims of chance and the relentless dance of cosmic forces. Tracing life's elusive origins, the tantalizing possibility of multiple genesis events punctuated by cosmic upheavals casts a veil of uncertainty over the early chapters of life's saga. If indeed life flickered into existence only to fade away repeatedly before establishing a foothold, the remnants of such ephemeral life forms elude detection, leaving behind no tangible evidence of their transient existence. Contemplate for a moment, what if life had charted a divergent course, steering clear of the evolutionary trajectory that ultimately birthed the vibrant tapestry of flora, fauna, and sentient beings we behold today? The enigma deepens, shrouding the origins of life in an impenetrable veil of speculation. Jack Shostak, in his quest to unravel the mysteries of life's genesis, advocates for a paradigm shift, a departure from grand overarching inquiries toward a nuanced exploration of incremental processes. He underscores the complexity inherent in even the most rudimentary life forms, each harboring a myriad of intricately interwoven components. Life is a labyrinth of complexities, where even the humblest bacterium or virus boasts an intricate ensemble of thousands of moving parts. Shostak reflects, the notion that such intricate systems could spontaneously emerge defies intuition. Rather, he contends, life's emergence unfolds through a gradual succession of incremental steps, each building upon the foundations laid by its predecessors. In this tapestry of existence, the narrative unfolds not in grand, sweeping gestures, but in the subtle interplay of countless minuscule advancements, a testament to the inexorable march of evolution and the unfathomable depths of life's enigmatic origins. Thank you for embarking on this journey with Ambient Sanctuary Channel. If you found this exploration of life's mysteries intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future discoveries. Until next time, may the wonders of the cosmos illuminate your path.